Hello and welcome all to what I'm sure is going to be an unmissable game. Here's the key information. We have a side looking to make it into the exclusive knockout stage of the competition. A victory does it, but anything less than that could lead to all sorts of complications. Everybody is ready to go once we have the formalities out of the way. Stade Louis Deux, not one of the biggest grounds, but certainly one that serves up a very unique atmosphere. And so we stand for the anthems. Well, it really is a terrific sight here, and it goes to underline just how far this game could go towards shaping the fortunes of the team. Well, Peter, there's good pressure and bad, but this leans very much to the former, and a big chance to take everything on a level. These players have to embrace and, and tackle the task ahead with the courage and confidence they've grown for a time like this. I expect them to, to swim and not sink, and they won't need a, a rubber ring here either. So off we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Jordi Alba. He's got such searing pace, Peter. He gets to the byline in the blink of an eye. And from there, his crosses are, are pinpoint and very hard to defend against. This opposition defence is going to have its work cut out, trying to keep him quiet. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Marco Verratti, Jorginho, Lorenzo Insigne, across the field it goes, Chiesa, Chiesa, it's gone for a throw-in, played it greatly! Well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Spain can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Jordi Alba. Caballos. Thiago, and it's Suso. Suso really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Thiago battles to win it back. Suso. Going through. Rip. Immobile is on his... He's gone for it! done very well to get to that. Immobile is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. They've played it short. And very necessary. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. I'm more than happy to take the muscular approach. Just brushed off the ball there. Florenzi tries to switch the play. And it's to Chilio. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Oh, he's not going to get that. 
Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Chiesa desperately wants to get on the end of this. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. Lorenzo Insigne. He's left his man. Chance! He's had a shot! Goal! Spain! Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Spain take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. Hoists it forward. Jorginho. Half an hour played now. Spain need a win here to make it through. And he's whipped it in low. Caballos. And it's played forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Marco Verratti. Uh, needed a better pass there. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. And here's Morata. Tries a shot! De Chilio. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. And here's Morata. And here's Morata. Put offside that time. Keeper sends it forward. Insigne looking to get on the end of this. Insigne beats the offside trap. Insigne with an air of confidence about him, a certain swagger. Well, that was a mini show of self-confidence. It may spark another try or, or another trier. Raspilicueta. Forward it goes. Morata. Has a pop! It's a goal! Two up and threatening to pull clear! Morata versus the keeper and only one winner. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top.
Spain. And the referee brings the first half to a close. We can review the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why did it from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Spain ahead 2 0, and they are looking good. Into the last 45 minutes in this game of substantial significance. No reported change to either side during the break. Marco Verratti, Benucci, plays it out to the wing. Marco Verratti. Ceballos, Ceballos tries running with the ball at his feet. Morata, he's had a go! Away. Spain are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Spain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Gets wrestled off the ball. Oh, good interception. Out to the left it goes. De Chilio. Zaniolo. Could be a chance. Immobile! Oh, the ball's come loose. Chiesa. to get it forward quickly. Chiellini does well to read it and intercepts. Jorginho plays it out to the flank. He goes long. Chiesa. Lovely bit of skill. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. And here's Immobile. Thiago. Morata has a goal! And he should have made it for lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. Insigne goes looking. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Bernadeschi tore at them and just came up short. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. Bernadeschi! Great strike, a test for the keeper. Well, they're being made to force the issue, but they need to be patient and, and a little more composed.
to meet it. Harmlessly behind. Caballos. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Immobile. And the volley. What a hit. The save was firm. Italy are really feeling the strain now. It's Immobile! Keeper gets just about enough of it. Italy are showing good urgency, but they have to place more emphasis on service into the box. Hoists it forward. Now it's Morata. And the defence can get it clear. And it's been taken straight back. Goes for goal! I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. And it's played forward. Has he found his man? That's not going to make it. Benucci. Ahead by three, but they won't want to take their foot off the pedal. And it's Suso. Now it's Morata. Looking to force Morata! In it goes! Comfort! Yet more comfort! Easing away! The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Four in the game, he is the man. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Florenzi. Florenzi with the crossfield ball. Insigne switches it towards the other side. Chiesa. Now it's Morata. Now it's Suso. Lorenzo Insigne. Berodeski. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Thiago. Hits one! And with that, the final whistle. Spain have done it. They have come through the group stage, and now line up alongside the knockout elite. So another win, that's two from two, and it is looking good. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Well, that is one big weight off your shoulders now. Progress that was well warranted if you consider the performances to this point. And I think with the pressure off, they can already start their preparations for the next step, which uh, puts them in great position.